Welcome back, everybody, to Turn Order the Seventh Eon, episode number eight. Sorry for the extended break, but uh, we've had so many internet problems <laughs> trying to get this show sorted. Uh, believe me, we all love the show, and we all love doing the show. It's just like, uh, The show hates us. Yeah, it's... It's a pain in the butt. It's a pain Should in the butt. But we're fails. trying to deal with stuff. Uh, currently, Roll20 is having problems now, too. And, uh, yeah. Maybe it could be that they have service in the UK or something. Maybe. Could be. I don't know. I don't know how their login servers work. Who knows? Who knows? But uh, we are back. So, uh, Belmorn and Kelvin. Uh, Drab, you basically went inside to... Uh, talk to Ori as uh, Kelvin was explaining everything with uh, Belmorn. And uh, Kelvin and Belmorn found Dirk, because I rolled a natural 20 for Dirk. Um, and uh, <laughs> seriously, like, if I didn't roll like a 15 plus, Dirk was going to take a long fucking time to find you guys. <laughs> it was going to be a long time. It was going to be like five episodes later. Dirk! Um... And uh, so, Kelvin, you're you're sort of like looking at Dirk in Belmorn's hands. Hey, that's that's him. That, that's you him. Um, him what? Uh, my wee mouse friend. What do you mean? You're not gonna use him in some kind of? Oh no no no! Not like these. My actual friend, isn't that right? It's just mouse to see. Dirk is just kind of wandering around Belmorn's hand. Hey! You remember me? <laughs> Give me an animal handling check, Kelvin. <laughs> I'd like to persuade the mouse to remember me. <laughs> <laughs> Hello! Uh, yeah, so it kind of like stops and you like put your finger near it and it just kind of like sniffles your finger. See? Uh, like to me. Um, if you'll just hand him over. I just need to speak to Ori alone, and then I'll have spoken to everyone, and then it'll be fine. All right. Just kind of like, hands Dirk over to you. Yeah, thank you. I'm going to cup him in my hands. Righty. Uh, I'll send uh, Drab out to you. Push the door open. Uh, Drab, if you'll uh, go and... It. We, we barely all have a wee word with Ori and then we can get together and think about what we're going to do. Yeah. Right. I'll go over everything you said to me earlier. Right. <laughs> okay. I close the door behind me. Okay, Ori. Yes? Don't say anything. Just, you know, I open my hands and, and, and show you a little mouse. It's a wee pal. That's where he went. I'm, I'm gonna take him in my hands. Ah, he was uh, out in the hall. Uh, Belmore wanted to eat him, but I wasn't having any of it. I I don't think Belmore would want to eat a mouse. Okay, that was a bit of a fib, but... If, he, if I well, look actually, at Dirk, does he Dirk. look... Is he scurrying around like he's scared, or is he just normal? Uh, I mean, if Kelvin handed him over to you, he's just kind of just sniffling around, you know, like like mice do. Okay. I wanna I wanna look at Dirk, and I wanna look into his tiny little mousy eyes. Okay. Kind of like. Is there something wrong? Do give you me, know where Ignia is? Give me an insight check. Fourteen. Um. So, uh. Dirk kind of like. Stops, like, when you, when you say the name. Um, and just kind of like looks, uh, towards towards you for like a second and then just kind of starts sniffling around your hand again. I I kind of look at him uh, and then 
I put him back on the ground. And I'm gonna open the door a little bit, see if he he starts walking or something. Okay, give me an animal handling check. I stomp on him instead. But no. Oh, oh my god! Please. What? What? <laughs> nice! <laughs> what? What the fuck? We've been fuck? good with the animals! Oh my Sweet. god! That's the second animal handling crit in the, the show yeah. today. And both of them were for the sun, for like... What the and fuck? You, and you crit with Dirk coming back here. It's meant to be oh, all praise, RNGesus. I think Dirk is RN Jesus. I think Dirk is actually go a god that just oh does whatever he wants to do. Jesus Christ. I Jesus Christ. Ha ha. Jesus Christ. Oh my god, <laughs> no! Please. I want to see some some fan art of Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I love his Savior. Yeah, if 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 I, anybody I, wants to run a community D and D with 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 a with, thing. It's a uh, thing. with a fucking like with a mouse guard. <laughs> Dirk. There used to be a local pizza store by me, which was called Jesus Crust. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was uh, planning an opening. Um... A cheese store in the motherland called Jesus of Nazareth. <laughs> okay, come on, so, come on, let's go. So Dirk uh, uh, gets put on the ground and um, immediately starts going back out through the door. I'm I'm running after him. Yep, I run after you as I pass uh, Belmont and Drab. Right, off we go then. Come on, you two. Can I ask what you said to me? Can I ask what Kelvin is wearing? Oh, um... <laughs> I, I, I just Yo, that's myself. important too! <laughs> I just myself. Uh, no, yeah, the part you missed was, um... Uh, we need to be careful about what we say in front of Ori. And what we do, and what we show, and where we go, and... Because Basically, I we just probably... need to assume that being around her, we're always being watched and listened to. I would probably have said, well, let's just get her to talk about it and take us all. No. Too late now, so you get having shit internet. Well, bitch. I still think we should just talk about it. All of us together. Uh, we'll do that, uh, on the way, then. Come on. Right, Ori! Uh, Ori's already halfway down the hall. I'm Ori's ready! Yeah, Ori just like patters. Ori, where are you going? We We're we going this way. Um, uh, I had an I think, idea. I think Ori's... she knows where Ignia is. I think I know where Ignia is. <laughs> There's nothing off after her. Okay, you so. You know where she is? So, uh, uh yeah. no? Belmore <laughs> starts chasing after Ori, uh, who's chasing after Dirk, who is quick, but, I mean, you. I mean, you basically have to walk. Uh, I mean, he's, uh, yeah. you know, he's just going to head start and then we catch yeah. up and yeah. we can chase. Are he's you there. sure? Can I do a dexterity <laughs> to see how Wait, slow you Google, are? I'm going to Google the max speed of a mouse. Let's see here. Max speed of a mouse. Come on, Google. It would be funny. If Eight point one miles per hour, yeah. which is actually. Uh, a light jog. Point one miles per hour? 8.1. Oh, 8.1. Wow. Yeah, that's, that's pretty, pretty fast. But the that's, actually... that's probably an all run, so we're assuming he's a little bit sick. It's a, a light this jog. This is turning for... into a mouse guard campaign. Okay. So, so yeah. Um, uh, Dirk takes off, and uh, it, he, he's going down the stairs and things, uh, going towards the front door. Wiggles his way through the uh, through the hole in the bottom of the front door. Uh, I'm I'm gonna go outside. Ori, what are you doing? I, I've told oh. her a location and she's going there. No, that's not true. It's I'm very true. I'm following Dirk. I think no, she knows where he's Dirk. Uh, I'm Dirk. It's one of my other names. My you friend. know, like Raven Dirk. My We're all friends. Friend. What's going on? Open the door. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, so yeah, you guys start uh, 
running out through the front door, uh, chasing after Dirk. Uh, Dirk, so you guys are in the uh, the Maiden's Hall Inn, which is number five on the map. It's right here. Um, and um, Dirk is, I'm going to draw this. We'll give Dirk, let's give him a blue color. Let's give Dirk a blue color. Um, Dirk starts leading you this way. You get to this intersection, and Dirk starts uh, sniffling around. Jesus fucking Christ! I got a natural 19! Um, <laughs> uh, so, uh, <laughs> Dirk, um, Dirk then uh, heads down this way. Through yeah, the alleyway. We you stop, I like hold a finger up to the wind. And wait for Ori to start moving again. What is and going we, on? That way. Um, How do we know that this is where Ignea is? I don't understand. Just come. I, I found a... Uh... Shut up, Calvin. Okay. Just trust me, Valmor. All right, Ori. And I'm gonna start running again. Yeah, he's uh, Dirk starts leading you down the alleyways. You see, like you see, there's um, probably some like homeless people and stuff that are just kind of like buried in between the alleys and stuff that have just kind of like set up, um, set up like little uh, little sleeping areas. Um, it's it's early. I mean, I want to say it's probably like three, four o'clock in the morning, something like that. Um, we'll say three thirty. Um, and I'm being. I'm being quite careful not to like run too far away from them. I'm I'm keeping a a good distance from dark and like my friends so I don't I don't disappear somewhere. Okay. Dirk heads here. I'm not letting Ori out of my sight. Oh wait. Um and Dirk stops. He's kind of like Chittering around, uh, chittering around the street here. Uh, Ori, give me an insight check. Uh, for fifteen. Okay. Fifteen. Um, it's very hard to understand what's going on right now. He doesn't seem to be picking a direction. He's just kind of moving around a lot. You're not sure what's going on. Okay. I'm gonna like bend down. And I'm gonna get his attention. Is it here, boy? Is it here? Um. <laughs> <laughs> um. So he's What's that, just Skippy. Yeah, he's just kind of he's just kind of running around. Uh, Belmore okay. like catches up and says, "Wait, is that the mouse? What are we doing?" Um. I'll, is that I'll pick up. I'll pick up Dirk. I think this is as far as we'll come. Igni is going to be here somewhere. Are there any doorways here? Openings? Um, so, yeah, there's like a... This little area here is kind of like the slums. Um, there are uh, lots of buildings that are kind of like close together. Um, and... Um, uh, like the elevation is going up, like you guys are kind of going uphill at this point, um, and um, uh, there's probably lots of small doors all around. This is a small mouse, though. Which is he, which doorway or whatever is he closest to? Which building? The one directly across from the alley. I mean, is there I'm try the door? Anything on the street, like a. Uh... Manhole cover type dealio or anything? Like um, sewage entrance. Give me a perception check, uh, Kelvin. Drabby, try the door. The door is locked. I perceive fifteen things. Okay. Um. So you're looking around, trying to find some kind of storm drain or sewage or something down the street. Um, in the square over here, you can just kind of, you see that there is some kind of drainage. Basically, oh, like, as the oh. hill slopes down. Uh, that 
Uh, I'm, I'm going to take a look down here, just just a wee bit, because he might be above where it is, maybe. This this isn't anywhere near where I where I met the hunter. It, the hunter is the red dot, right? The red dot is where you where you uh, yeah, yeah. well where you originally met the hunter was uh, like yeah. up here, but you oh, guys okay. meandered okay. your way towards that. Location. Okay. No, Grab, I don't mean it's above him. I mean, he's above where she is. I look down. I think she's. So Sewers. There's, there's a drainage. Well, me, well, if you're going to be in this city and you want to go unnoticed, it's as good a place as any. And it would explain how the beasts are maybe popping in and out without people seeing them. A city this size would have a sewage system, right? Absolutely. Uh, let's let's go. Especially, to here. especially with the climate, it's sort of you know it does rain like a good chunk of the time here. Um, it's very humid, um, and uh, the um, uh, yeah. Let me sorry. Let me switch the map over. Sorry about that. Um, the um, the uh, the city would definitely have one. Um, it's just it needs one because the because there's it's got a. It, basically, the elevation decreases as you go closer to the shore, so it's it's on an incline. Yeah, uh, Ori, skip up the uh, Remus. We'll, we'll check down here. We're, we're going down the sewers? Well, we'll, we'll just have a look at the drainage section there and just have a look, see if we can Is see anyone traveling in a, a manhole yeah. or just like a drain? Oh, shit. Um, so there's a, there's a drainage. Um, I'd say there's probably like a, there's a grate, you know, like on a, um, uh, probably just in the ground, like a storm drain. Uh, they probably don't have a manhole, you know, it's probably like a barred storm drain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, several feet wide. Uh, I'll go over and take a look at it. Uh, Drab, you got a knife for this stuff. See if you can spot any signs of this moving or going in and out. First thing I do is I'll reach down and give it a pull and see if it moves. Um, give me an athletics check. I'm not particularly strong, but I'll do that for you. We know that because Ori whooped your ass in an arm wrestling competition. <laughs> <laughs> that was. It's just still like one of the most best like, moments uh, ever. <laughs> like it doesn't move at all. <laughs> uh, Don't so, hurt yourself, Kelvin. I'll I'll just take a look first. Uh, Kelvin, maybe look maybe I should try. Well, it may not even be the right one. Just I I, uh, I just I think maybe uh, I don't want you to hurt yourself. I mean, we don't even know if this is the one that might be locked down. I don't want you. Sure, to sure. So on a don't... scale of one to Niagara Falls, how much is Kelvin sweating right now? <laughs> yeah, I'm just like, like super sweaty, like vein bulging in the side of my head. Uh, <laughs> Kelvin, just uh, take take like one step back. I just, I, I you know, I just okay, um, fine. That, uh, I loosened it up a wee bit. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Not enough, apparently. <laughs> it's on very tight. I don't think it's coming off. Balmorn, you're the strongest dragon I know. I've seen you lift things that you shouldn't lift. It's like pat him on the back and give Can him. Can I look if there's any other way to get into the sewers, like a drainage system? You know. Well, that's like what you. It. It's, there's a storm drain there. Uh. Ori, give me a an acrobatics check. Also, because I've worked in a mine and I've like crawled in really, really tiny spaces, that was like my job for my entire life. Can I get advantage? Yes. Thank you. Ori! <laughs> Didn't even fucking see that! What the fuck? <laughs> That's fucked up. Goddamn, Chummy, the That's way you up. roll. Hot game! Yeah, I know. Jesus Christ. So, it's because the theme music came on. So, yeah. um, so you, uh, Belmorn is just trying to, like, 
brace himself to like get a better pull on this thing and you just kind of like um wiggle down between the uh between the bars uh as he's doing Ori wait what are you doing Ori don't run off you just wanted me to check down here didn't you be careful uh and Belmorn's gonna try and um he's got uh what you gave him guidance uh, no, I gave him I bardic inspiration. Him bardic. So it's a can D I help him somehow <laughs> from so that, the inside? So that's a so that's a D ten. Yes, I get okay. a D ten because I'm uh, high level. Twenty one. Uh, so with a groan, yeah, he just kind of lifts the grate with a with a pull. And it's it's really fucking heavy. Like this thing probably weighs a few hundred pounds. Um, and Belmore just kind of uh, uh, lifts the grate up and just kind of starts to slide it. You're scraping against the cobbles. Um, and uh, <sighs> do I see other similar scrape marks around this? Give me an investigation check. I'll investigate. I'll shed at eleven. Not that much investigation. Uh, no, no, you don't. Well, until the lady's first, but she's already down there. Uh, oh. I pushed Calvin down. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like a. <laughs> I'm like oh, looking over the edge. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, beware of falling Kelvin's Ori. Um, oh. <laughs> yeah, you can hear this. Oh, come on, that acrobatic girl. <laughs> She'll be fine. Yeah, uh, or you just kind of tumble out of the way as uh, Kelvin just, like, splats, like, into this, like, moist puddle of God knows what. Way I land on my feet, but it's, you can tell it's really uncomfortably. Give me an acrobatics, <laughs> give me an acrobatics check. <laughs> Let's see how you land. like a dwarf. <laughs> 20. Yeah, boy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, actually got winded a wee bit there from that. Um, <laughs> look out below. Are you okay, Calvin? <laughs> <laughs> Give me an acrobatics check, Dread. I'm fine. I step out of the way. Can I just give you a dexterity saving throw instead? <laughs> uh, depends if you're trying to fall with style. I am not trying to fall with style. I'm just trying not to die. <laughs> no, uh, I'm a bard. Of course, I'm falling with style. Performance? No. <laughs> Acrobatics, please. Okay. Yeah. I'd like uh, to give it a bit of a flourish as I land, like a superhero landing. The three-point Iron Man landing? Yeah. Okay, yeah, and it's cobbles down there, Spend so it hurts like a motherfuck. <laughs> 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 You land with your fist and then realize it's fucking cobbles, and you're like, <gasps> uh, Belmore just climbs down the ladder. <laughs> There's a ladder? Oh my god! It, I mean, it's a stone ladder. It's built into the. It's built into the tree. <laughs> I just assumed there was a ladder, and you're just pushing me down to be a dick. I just thought there was a hole, and you were if, like, "Oh, I don't yeah, know." If I, want if, to if I were to go down in the water, would I would like? Would it be like to my head or to my chest? Uh, so basically, it's a it's a round tunnel that you're in. And oh, okay. there's like a like a very very small walkway with uh with water in the center. Um, it's it's not very big at all. Like uh, Belmorn and Drab, you definitely have to kind of like crouch to move through this area. Um, I'd say it, it's maybe six feet tall. Um, and uh, and um, oh god, I'm a lot taller than that, aren't I? Yeah, you are. I think you're uh, almost you probably hear my head scraping, my helmet scraping on the roof every now and again. All right. Um, yeah, and, and and Belmorn says, uh, um, "Why are we down here? What is happening?" Uh, okay. Um, we're looking for the lost tomb of Moring. We're looking for Agnia. <laughs> 
Look, in my experience, place people who have their places hidden down here probably have markings so you can get through during the night no matter where you are. Okay. And I'd like uh, to look for those markings. Okay, give me an investigation check. Uh, Ori, remember that there's people maybe listening to you, so you need to, you know, shh. But I'm not talking about, you, you know. Yeah, well, maybe those that you know is the same you know that has Ignea, you know? <laughs> don't you know? So, uh... If you don't know, then now you know. Drab, you start looking around. Um, the sewer probably... Let's see. I'm trying to think. I feel like they're mages. They're probably... Um, they're probably... Well, they're they're probably just hidden. be... Yeah, I, I don't even think they'd be, they'd be hidden. I mean, it, they just have numbers or something on the wall. You know, like it'd probably just be... they probably carve it into the wall or something at each intersection. Um... So there's probably just like a, a, it's like a grid or something, you know, below the, in the sewers. So you guys... We are in C4, section 2, subsection H. What I'll does that have to do with anything? <laughs> well, now we know where we are. Well, uh, we need to go uh, that way. Why? How do we know this? We uh, because of our friend who showed us the way. Is that the direction where the mouse had stopped? That yeah, Calvin's that's the way to? I was born. Oh, I'm good with tunnels and such. I mean, you know, I'm a dwarf. I'm good at being underground and knowing my way around. Belmont, have you ever heard the phrase mum's a word? Never. Have you ever heard of the concept of subtlety? Of course. Maha. <laughs> right. It's, I wanted, it's the thing I wanted, that Kelvin can't do. Problem is... Can I make Dirk, kind of like, it. smell for the dogs? Like, the hyenas? The, the, you want to the smell fucking... for them? Uh, In the sure. Sova? Sure. Well, you've, make you've Dirk search them, for them. Sure, give me a perception sense. check with disadvantage. No, I'm, I'm like, making Dirk smell for them. I mean... You can, you can give me an animal handling check? Yes. With disadvantage, I'll say? Okay. I'll roll again. Well, okay. So Dirk is just kind of sniffling around your hand. He doesn't seem to be reacting anymore. Let's just start this way, and we'll we'll see what we can see. Uh, try and stay quiet. Um, I would like to keep investigating the way we're walking. Is there like a well walked path? Like where maybe it's a bit cleaner. So I'm not. I'm not going to give. You, I'm not going to give you another investigation check. Um, I'm going to say no. There is not. Fuck. Let's just uh, head this way. We'll, we'll see how it goes. And with wealth, we need to we'll search the whole thing. So I'm gonna draw my rapier. Out. Right, but we need to be bloody careful. Yeah, Belmore draws his weapons as well. If it means we can find Ignea, then I don't mind crawling through a sewer. Me neither. A bit uh, bloody small down, yeah? Alright, uh, follow me. And I, uh, I start walking ahead. Okay. Um, okay. So, you start heading, uh, basically straight. Now, I'm gonna start drawing in a different color on the map, and it's not necessarily corresponding to the streets or anything, it's just the way that the sewer is going. So, uh, we're gonna draw in, uh, let's draw in green... Um, so, from what I understand, the sewer, the drainage was here. Okay? Yep. And you're going this way? Yeah, trying to get to where, uh, 
Okay. Dark stopped. Okay. You start going this way. Uh, you get to about there, and there is uh, an intersection of three different paths. Straight ahead, left and right. What you reckon, Kelvin? Uh, hmm. Are we getting closer to the house? To the house where yeah. you and yeah. the... I mean, it's the, the red side. dot. I mean... Oh, yeah, it's over there. No, we're okay. Uh... Uh... Hmm. Does anybody have any... Uh... No, it's fine. I get my dagger... What if we split up and take one each? No, not a good idea. And sure. I, uh, yep, I scratch, uh, uh, a mark on the wall, um, just an arrow pointing where we came from. Okay. You want to go that way? We just came, we no, literally just came from that way, Kelvin. No, that's pointing to where we came from, because the arrows are to find your way back. Not Don't you think that's a little forward. confusing? <laughs> no, because I'm leading the way in that. How, how many times have you been underground? I've actually spent quite a lot of time in the sewers back in Clondane. Uh, I was born underground. Were you born in the sewers? Well, not that different. Right. Let's head. Hi. Stuff the air. Ah. What, are you, what are you trying to smell for? Just anything that's different. Okay. Basically. <laughs> anything that isn't poop. Give me a yeah, perception. Because... <laughs> Give me a perception check with disadvantage. Yeah, because under underground, you know I mean there's lots of ways. The way that's different is the right way. Perception with disadvantage. <laughs> what? Oh I name a more than what are the people in this city uh... eating? Okay. We're going that way, because that's closer. Let me, let me try. I want to try to... Kelvin, I've once seen you take a sip of gunpowder. <laughs> Can I do my own investigation to look for any signs of, of hyena? Sure. Uh, and just, just, to con just to piggyback off of Peachy joke about uh, Kelvin sipping gunpowder, talk about explosive diarrhea. Uh... You know full well he's done that. Oh, I what does this taste like? <laughs> I think I'm dying. <laughs> okay, uh, so Ori, um, what are you trying to do? I'm. I want to see if I can see, you know, scratch marks, like little piece of fur. Okay. Maybe hyena droppings. I don't know. Okay. Sure. Uh, give me, give me a uh, an, an investigation check. <laughs> well, you don't find any indication of a hyena. Ori, don't drink that. Whatever no. that is. No, I'm just looking. That's disgusting. No, I, I didn't. Why are you holding it? I. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying. Why, what, gal? What are you looking for? Beasts. Beasts. That we saw. You saw beasts? Oh, you can't talk about it. I mean, I well, could can tell I say, you a this story. This is bloody stupid. We should talk about it. I could tell you a story that someone told me as a good night story. I'm not entirely sure how subtle magic is in this yeah. respect. It's probably not a good idea. Let's, wait, we'll go this way first and I go to the left path and I put an arrow. The wrong way. The Point wrong out. way. And and I'll tell the story about a small mouse running in the streets and then seeing a huge dark hound that looked nice 
and follow that hound to its lair. And it bit its face, and then it ran home, and then it took its other mouse friend. And it said, if you don't find, if you, if you say anything, I'll eat your other mouse friends. Kelvin, you know a bit about magic, right? Even though you don't use it yourself. Uh, I've had a, I've had a, I've read books on it and such. How does the arcane feel about semantics? Uh, it's complicated. Uh, it, 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 magic can be very specific, but it can also be very vague. It just really depends. Side qu- note: Can you tell the difference between human poo and dog poo? Hmm. Well, I can. Well, I can tell that something's not dwarf. Shit. Right. Because when you're in the caves and you find shit sometimes, like, oh, no, it's just dwarf shit. You know what I mean? Oh, that one is definitely Davy because he does like peanuts. Um, but I'm not sure this is anything hard. useful, Kelvin. Well, this is the worst all... idea ever. Well, you I can tell because. So well, monsters will eat, you know, bones and such. So Ori, do you have any ideas? And, Ori, and Ori, Ori came from. <sighs> Uh, a very dark place and she I, I I think that she may have the best understanding of our current situation Ori what do you think we should do I'm gonna close my eyes and I'm going to kind of focus on what it was to be in the mines again and when you couldn't find your way that you'd listen for the subtle the most subtle subtle details maybe kind of if the wind was going one way or if there was heat coming from somewhere if you could hear like splashes of water or if you could hear sounds of people talking and kind of Listen to my instincts as a deep gnome. Okay. I'm, I'm pulling out straws here. Give me a perception check with advantage. Okay. Fuck. When you're trying to listen and smell, sometimes for any... there's big chunks of bone for... in the shade. <laughs> <laughs> trying to figure out poop anymore. Trying to figure out any kind of subtle difference. Um you you think that the path on the right smells just a little bit different. <laughs> okay, to the right. So, like, going this way? So you guys are currently going this way. Yeah. Okay. So this is want, to the right. Start, yeah. We want to kind of go here. Because this would be the right path. Well, oh, it doesn't matter. Well, this this is the path that you got. You guys are currently in this location right there. Okay, okay. So we want to go... So the right path would be this way. We can see where I could you and GM. Oh, yeah, yeah, my bad. Sorry. Yeah, that this. My bad. So the right path is this way from where you are right now. Okay. All right. I'm going to start walking that way, and I'm going to try to focus my all that I can, like my survival instincts since I was a child to find my way without having to rely on sight or, or know anything really. And I'm going to start heading that way. Okay. But, oh, I'm going that way. Okay. The arrow can stay though because it's pointing to the exit, you see? Okay. Um, Makes sense. The corridor goes uh, for another, uh, I'd say, a hundred feet. 
Um, probably to about there. Okay. Give me another perception check. A regular one this time. What made you choose this way? I, I marked arrow back towards the exit and we came down this one as well. Why down here already? I don't know, it's... Instincts, I guess. Your well, instincts, instincts are good, Ori. You well. mm, right, he's right. Okay, uh, are we at another intersection then? Yes. Uh, this intersection is a... Uh, two-way intersection being or uh, three-way intersection I guess you can uh, continue straight ahead or uh, left All right well my instincts are saying like peer into the darkness of both directions sure that let's do that uh, this way left oh why? Well, <laughs> it, it's just a gut feeling, really. Look, look, look. Give me a perception check with disadvantage, <laughs> Calvin. <laughs> a 13. Okay. Um, so you're trying to sniff, and like inwardly, it all smells mm. the same. Like, it just smells yeah. fucking terrible. It's I'm, assaulting I'm your my... nasal cavity. Well, I'm an alchemist. I'm, I'm used to smelling pretty bad things for the most part. I think... <sighs> Left side smells a little more interesting. Let's go that way, then. Yep. But it might be that someone doing this way just had something exotic to eat. <laughs> But we'll see when we get there. Okay. So you are now heading uh, in this direction. Okay. The corridor uh, is a bit longer than it was uh, in the, the, the current uh, system that you were. This one brings you underneath another storm drain located right here. Uh, don't walk up to it right away. It's thread carefully. Uh, Drab, come and have a look at this with me. See if you can see if they've been... Oh, they've been coming this through, one. yeah. That's the main road, though, but I'll check so, it anyway. Uh, I'm probably... I'm quite tall in here, so I'm probably quite close. I can look at this. No problem. Um, What, you mean just try to, like, pop your head up? No, I just want to look at the storm drain to see if... Yeah. Uh, maybe there's been some scratches if it's been moved out and people have come in. Sure, here. give me an investigation check. Yeah, like on the bottom of the metal from the storm. Uh, uh... <laughs> <laughs> what is with the crits today? Jesus. <laughs> lots of crit fails and lots of crit successes. Um, so, uh, there does not appear to be any comings or goings from this storm drain. Uh, don't think anyone's come this way. Nice crit, Peachy. <laughs> uh, the, Definitely not. The corridor... I think we've gone too far. Well, the corridor from there, uh, the storm drain is on the uh, right, like there's the ladders built into the right, uh, the wall on your right. Um, the corridor continues... Um, straight ahead, and uh, after the ladder, it veers uh, to the right. So basically, straight ahead or right. Uh, well, what do you think, Drab? Definitely no one's come down here. Not very often. You think we might have overshot? Or about well, that crossroads? I don't know, right? See, right can take you. Oh, see, it goes round here. That's starting to head off. I, I want to ask Dirk if he can time. smell anything again. Okay. <laughs> Animal handling? Sure. 
Uh, okay, I guess. I Dirk guess. is kind of like nibbling, like on your glove. <sighs> Dirk. Yeah, he's starting to make himself a little bed somewhere. <laughs> oh, that <laughs> way is going further away from where the. Oh, it could stop. Yeah. So, what if we go round in a circle? I think that might be the way to go because that's going to the city. Oh, the fair chance to keep. If they're using this to get in and out of the city, that means that the big monkey fellas can send in... If they wanted to get the waste in, in this city, then... They wouldn't no stand offense, a chance. Kelvin, but they didn't seem the brightest. Hey, I think a full uh, frontal attack is probably what they're about. Well, who knows, they may have a smart boss in the background, never... I well, learned one thing, never doubt the unknown. So this way. Aye, go that way. <laughs> What's that way? Uh, uh, the way towards, towards the, the enemy base. Which actually leads us into a secret yeah. um, a passageway way. directly into Ignea's cage. So if you could um, give me an arrow, that would be great. Uh, the way that I'm isn't gonna... following round to the right. Did you say it went... It went straight. straight or left? It went straight it or left. It went straight or right. Uh, I guess we go straight then. Okay, nope. But that isn't where. That's no, no. I wouldn't have said that then. Hmm. Well, if they didn't come down this way, and, and okay, not to meta game, but I just got a crit, and there was nothing here. <laughs> <laughs> Aye. Well, if if you're sure no one's came through this way, then I guess we head back and try and take one of the other paths there. There's, uh, 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 mm. there's nothing around here. Then no one's come through here. I haven't seen any footprints. The mouse Ori, stopped somewhere Ori, over there. Ori, what do you think? I'm gonna close my eyes and I wanna do the same thing in Karen. Okay. Give me perception. <laughs> Give me perception. Fourteen. Uh with advantage. Four thirteen. Okay. Um so you um, close your eyes again. Heart's beating fast. Dirk is nibbling on your glove. And you're trying to listen or smell for anything differently. Uh, that's anything different. And nothing seems to jump out at you. All right. I think we need to get back. All right. Let's let's head back to the last one. That, okay. Okay. You, you turn around. And so, Dirk hops out of your hand. Okay. I'm following him. Dirk uh starts to run along the ground and uh Dirk starts to head to the right. Uh huh. So the right would be Oh, okay. oh, here. Okay, all right. Well, I'm, I'm following. Get to there, and there is a uh, another intersection. This one leads to the left, straight ahead, or to the right. Okay, I'm gonna focus again. I'm marking the wall as we turn this one. Okay. So Dirk, I'm huffing loudly. Uh, you close your eyes, uh, but Dirk is still moving. Oh shit! Okay, I go, I go, I fall, I go to the tip taps. Do I know she's following Dirk? Uh, I don't know. Is it really Are up you to you? Saying anything, Ori? No, not really. But she's just kind of running. Or oh, where's she going? Ori, be careful! What's wrong? <laughs> Deep numbs tend to have good instincts, just... We have a trail. Yeah, trust her. I trust her. All right. You continue here to another storm drain. Dirk starts running around. I want to look around, see if there's, like, anything different with the 
um, the walls or like down up to the storm drain. Okay, give me an investigation check. Forty. Okay. Um, so you're looking around for anything different. Um, it looks like another stone ladder built into the wall leading up to mm -hmm. a storm drain. Does this one look more used than the other ones? Not that you Does can it tell. have like dips yeah. now? Odi, uh, just let, uh, let Drab and I take care of this with, uh, we're more experienced than, than this kind of thing. I'm going to ignore him and I'm going to start. You're muted, up. Drab. Did he die? Right, okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna <laughs> climb up and I'm gonna like uh, 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 squeeze uh, squeeze my way through. Okay. Squeeze wait, my way through the bars. Wait, wait, wait. Calm down. Not gonna listen. Okay. Uh Ori, give me an acrobatics check. With advantage? No. Oh my Kelvin, God. give me an athletics check. Okay, so I need to crit this now just to get my own what, back. What, is, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm grabbing Wait. your ankle to stop you. Oh, I didn't hear up that. Now. I'm sorry. Yeah. An okay. Yeah, you you latch onto Ori's uh, ankle. What are you doing? Let me go. Nope. Come down, Ori. If you don't rush in head first, it's careless. You could go up there and get your head chopped off. We need to be careful. Kelvin's actually correct, Dory. To a degree. I, I, okay. I just want to peek out. Can I do that? I won't go out. What do you see, Gal? All right, just don't go out. I won't. Can I peek out? Sure. Um. So you look about. Uh, give me a perception check. Oh my god! It was going so well. Every everything that was like related to fucking Dirk yeah. finding Ignea was like a, a crit. Let's put it this way: it would have been a fucking nightmare to do this any other way. Yeah. Um, and uh you look out. It looks kind of like a small square. Um sort of uh very, um, very much like a, a. You can tell immediately. It's definitely like a wealthier part of town. Um, mm -hmm. There's a lot of. Uh, there's a lot of. Um, like, um, I would say, a much cleaner environment. Um, but you don't notice anything out of the ordinary. Otherwise. It it looks just like a normal square, but I mean she could be here somewhere. Maybe. Let's, uh, let's just uh. Let's have a look at this drain. Take a look around. Yeah, you take the drain. I'll check. Round about the bottom here. Calvin, if you start calling me the drain whisperer after this, I will slap you. Now look at the drain. <laughs> Give me an investigation check, the both of you. Nineteen. Drab. The drain, uh, the the drain cover, has definitely been moved. Kelvin, you look around inside the um, inside the sewer area. Um, you don't notice anything. It looks very similar to the rest of the. Rest of the the sewer that you've seen. I'll bring my Ugh. voice down a little bit. Definitely someone coming through here. Well, definitely. They're really. I'm not really seeing any sign of it down here. They're really careful. What well, what do you see up there, Ori? There's nothing out of the ordinary. I scan down here, like where the storm drain has been moved. Mm -hmm. Anything pop out out of the ordinary? What? 
Um, so I'm not going to make you roll another investigation check. No, no, um, I'm, I'm just looking, see if I see anything. Anything out of the ordinary? I mean, uh, no, no. Uh, I'm not doubting you that someone came through there just saying that they're, they're pretty good at covering their tracks or they're very light-footed. I knew someone who was really light-footed. Oh, all right, Maybe I'm going to ask you a question. You just need to nod or shake your head. I, I, I to go be... to say yes, but I just nod. Okay. Didn't happen to be an elf, did it? <sighs> Do you nod? Oh. I can't, I really can't see you. What did you say? Didn't happen to be an elf. That person you knew? I... I nod, and then I mm. I mean, I nod again, and I point at my own skin. Oh. Oh, right. I would explain it. Sneaky bastards. Explain what? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm come down here. I, I bend a little bit. <laughs> I get right up into your ear. Probably a, a drow. Uh, we should probably head up first, story if you want to come back down. We'll need to uh, drab or bell more than to, to lift out the grates pretty heavy. I know you're strong, but... Well, to be honest, it looks like it's been moved a lot. Can I just push it and see if it opens? I'm not going to go out. I just want to push it. Give me an athletics check. Don't crit it. Uh, no, I would it, never. It's heavy as shit. Even if it, okay. even if it was, you know, even if it was loose, it would be almost impossible for you to move. Yeah. I, yeah. Uh, go ahead. Uh, right. <laughs> well, there's no Belmont. more tears. Belmon. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, look out. Ori, watch out. Okay. He gets underneath and uh, climbs up the ladder. He braces his back uh, against the side of the the, the, hole, the shaft, um, and uh, he pushes as hard as he can. And... Uh, His arms start shaking violently, and uh, the grate just kind of like, and he just kind of shoves it out of the way. Everyone up! Good job. Huh. Right. Uh, I'll 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 go last. You want to go out now? Belmore just uh, climbs up. <laughs> I go after him. Okay, yeah, go. and uh, you guys head up um, inside the square here. Um, you can see some like um, you can see quite clearly that the buildings have been cleaned. Like it's just much cleaner. Like there's no trash um, in the in the square here. Um, there's probably some like small. I would say like some small uh, potted plants and things, sort of. All around, um, and uh, on the um, over here, you see like a um, uh, sort of like a, th a thinner kind of tower. Um, uh, the other buildings are a bit larger, um, and uh, yeah, ahead of you, you have uh, I mean, you have a bunch of buildings. I mean, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
uh, different buildings that are all around this uh, square. And let's take our break there because we've we've already been gone way over for our break. Um, let's uh, let's take a break and let's see what happens. Let's take a five minute break. We'll be right back, everybody, for more Turn Order the Seventh Eon. <laughs> 